So I have a uh, bit of a decision to make. Um, it's uh, nice and hot and sunny out, so I could use some suntan lotion. Um, as well, I'm going into a forested area, and so there's going to be mosquitoes and bugs and whatever. So I'm going to need some uh, bug spray. The only issue I have is I don't know which goes on first, the bug spray and then the suntan lotion, or the suntan lotion and the bug spray. I don't know. Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, I'm back at uh, Bois d'Esprit, this time in the summer, uh, instead of the late winter. Uh, it's hot, uh, it's muggy, uh, there are ticks all around and there are mosquitoes all around, so yeah. But uh, this time, uh, what I'm actually doing is uh, taking photos with uh, a film camera, uh, just because I haven't done that in a while, probably since, I'll say, Assemblyman Park last year, same time-ish. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. I will say it's uh, quite nice to have a good sized urban forest right, well, I won't say in the middle of the city, it's more sort of south east side of the city, but uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice retreat from, you know, concrete and cars and you know, every, everything else you can think of when it comes to uh, urban life. Um, like I'm, I'm standing in the middle of the forest and see nothing but green and trees and uh, you know a setting sun, um, relatively peaceful. Um, other than you know people biking and walking through, which is you know, kind of how you want a forest. I've also uh, decided to do something a little more challenging. Um, uh, I've decided to use ISO 200 film um, and in an area like Bois d'Esprit where there are dark corners and such, it can be a bit challenging in terms of exposure. Uh, so I'm doing my best. Um, it also helps that uh, I've got uh, a, uh, a camera that I'm using, that uh, the, the Canon FTB where uh, it, it's got a, an actual auto exposure meter. Uh, I just need to get the battery fitted in there, which I did, and uh, it's working. I like it.
So yeah, I haven't uh, been back here since, uh, well, the, that, that video in Bois de Esprit, so February. Have to double check. Don't, uh, I don't remember. Anyway, um, I figured I'd want to come back, you know, see the, the lush greens that have popped up since, uh, since then. And uh, well, um, with all the rain that we've been getting, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty lush. Um, it's green there. Green there and green there. It's all green all around. Okay, so there's a cute little beetle down there on a leaf and uh, all sort of um, um, shiny and such. Uh, so one handy thing I like about this lens, it's the Soligore lens, which not exactly the high quality lens, but hey, it works. Uh, it's also got a macro feature on it, which perfect. So I'm just gonna get in, get his photo, maybe get, her some, get him to sign a model contract. I'm not sure. Uh, I probably have to print that out. Come on, come on, there we go. Come on, baby. Out. Beauty. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's a bit flooded down here. Um, a true indication of how much rain we've been getting. Um, uh, yeah, because uh, this is typically just sort of maybe a, a very small stream. Not this, definitely, this is bog land. We'll say with this hot and muggy weather, it makes things a little more difficult to sort of concentrate on, make sure I've got everything right kind of thing. Uh, I've noticed in a couple of shots so far where um, haven't had the right uh, shutter speed or aperture. Um, yeah, it's sort of, with this, this, this sort of weather kind of doesn't help. Um, I'd probably be a little bit better with uh, my uh, 77D, just because I can see all of the, the settings, you know, through the viewfinder uh, and on the back of the screen with a film camera. Um, I don't actually have that luxury, um, so I kind of have to uh, be a little more mindful of it. Uh, it also doesn't help that I'm getting bugged by mosquitoes like crazy. Uh, so, yeah.
on that note, um, I'm hot and sweaty. Um, it's, um, um, I, I need water and such. Uh, so I'm gonna go home, uh, get some water, and uh, also uh, get into a nice cool environment. So on that note, uh, ciao folks. Um, so it uh, turns out uh, when I said ciao earlier, I didn't actually 100% mean it, but uh, um, I decided that I uh, wanted to come back and take some photos near sunset. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, with the, all the, uh, the forest fires going on, the, uh, the, the skies are a little hazy and the, the sun itself is also a little bit uh, hazy and a little bit red. Um, so I kind of wanted to come back and take some more photos. Um, besides, I think I've only shot about 10, 11 shots on, on this uh, roll of film. Um, well, not that roll of film because that uses digital. I mean, this one right here. Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm back and uh, yeah. Okay, so a couple of deer just munching away. I guess it's, you know, dinner time and such. Or maybe a after dinner snack. Like pretzels or popcorn or candy. Something like that. Okay, so I wanted to get over there, but unfortunately uh, it's a bit muddy and I'm wearing shoes. So, yeah, that's not happening. And, uh, well, darn. So, I mean, part of the uh, today's challenge is that uh, I'm using uh, ISO 200 film or equivalent 200 ASA, something like that, um, which uh, in terms of varying light, um, not as good as ISO 400, which is sort of more of a standard variable light uh, situation type film. Um, so. I've had to adjust my shutter speed to speeds that are a lot slower than I'm more comfortable with doing, but hopefully they, the, the results are good, still good. I mean, with uh, a shot that I took of a couple of deer, um, I was down to, uh, what, one sixteenth of a second? One fifteenth of a second. Uh, so yeah, with, you know, of course, being later in the, uh, the day, uh, closer to sunset and the fact that I'm in a forest not as much light as as you know you'd sort of prefer with ISO 200 film give it a shot Of course, I mean, the garter snakes in, in here in the Bois d'Esprit, I'm wondering if, oh man, they probably like air conditioned burrows and down, you know, under the ground. Lucky guys. On that note, uh, I'm gonna go home again because it's still hot and muggy out here and well, the lights kind of died down to the point where I can't really get any more good photos without really sacrificing. Yeah. So on that note, um, ciao. See you next time and uh, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>